For the first time in over four years, Jagex is planning on reintroducing Partner Slayer. I'm Tomb Goblin, and it's time to jump into this week's epic update. What does the Partner button on the Enchanted Gem even do? It's time we find out. Slayer Partners reads, In June 2020, we removed Slayer Partners due to a number of rule-breaking incidents. Luckily, the infidel the infidelity does not mean permanently, and today we'd like to share an updated Slayer Partners pitch, which avoids the pitfalls of the previous system while letting you and a friend mow down all the Slayer monsters you want. Let's get into it. Finding your Slayer Partner The trickiest step is the first one, finding a friend. We can't help you much with that. This is a massively multiplayer online RPG, so we're sure you'll manage. Once you've found your friend, You'll need to use the Partner option on the Enchanted Gem or Slayer Helm and select New Partner. Type their name and send them an invite. Obtaining a task. With an active partner, Slayer Masters will assign you tasks that you can complete together. If you're the player receiving a task, only your block list will be taken into account. Older iterations of Slayer Partner systems took both block lists into account which meant it was only possible to narrow down your available tasks to a select few and boost your progress significantly. You'll also receive tasks that both you and your partner can actively complete. In the past, if you got a task your partner didn't have the level for, they just wouldn't be given one. Lastly, we have removed the requirement for one player to have a higher Slayer level than their partner. This new system guarantees that once you get a task, you'll both be able to enjoy it. If you already have a task, you can't partner up until you finished it. This is to ensure that any task that you do together is suitable for both players. In a similar vein, irons won't be able to partner up. Group irons can partner with other group members. This approach means that you and a friend could theoretically set up a block list for two different moods and bounce between them at will. Perhaps one of you could keep a few boss-oriented tasks open while the other focuses on experience rates. The possibilities are endless. We are aware of the potential for players to narrow task lists significantly by using alternate accounts with uncompleted quests and high Slayer levels to block additional tasks. But we reckon this will be a relatively rare occurrence and shouldn't increase experience rates too significantly for these players. To safeguard against this sort of thing, your combined number of available tasks must exceed 10 or you won't get any tasks at all. Your partner will persist between sessions, so if one of you has to log off, you can put the task on hold or wrap it up by yourself. Obtaining a new task while your Slayer partner is offline will remove them as your partner. Make sure to grab your next task together to save yourself any headaches. You can cancel your task at any time, but both you and your partner must cancel to receive another one. With even the bad tasks being twice as quick to complete, we expect to see fewer skips than normal. Just imagine how quickly you and your mate could melt down 40 Iron Dragons. Completing a task. As an example, let's say you've been assigned gargoyles together. What does the task actually look like? Assuming you and your partner are within 30 tiles of each other, your task will decrease by one either time one of you kills a gargoyle. You'll only receive experience from the damage you deal, whether that's full experience for your own kill or partial experience if you both attack the same enemy. You're on a Slayer Partners task and you kill a target without your partner nearby, you'll receive an in-game message warning you that you're too far apart. The notable exception is that when you're on a Boss Slayer task and you're in an instance, when you won't receive a message at all. Keep your friends close and your Slayer Partners closer to make sure that you finish your Slayer task at the same time. You'll only receive points if you have individually secured kill credit for at least 20% of the task. This discourages boosting for task streaks or points. For example, if you only kill 15 out of the 100 gargoyles, you'll receive no points at all, and Durda will be very disappointed in you. Kinda like our parents. Points are distributed based on what percentage of the task you did yourself. If you killed 60 gargoyles and your partner killed 40, Duradel's 15 points would shake out to be 9 for you and 6 for your partner. Unlike most things in old school, this rounds up to neither partner loses out. Perfect 50-50 split would result in 8 points each, a whopping single point up from what a solo player could earn. This could get a bit unusual when combined with task streak bonuses. Since your streaks are probably different, to offset this, we're generously only splitting up the base points. 
you'll keep the bonus streaks to yourself. Once you've finished your task and snagged your Slayer points, it's time for a new task. Or go your separate ways if your partner didn't pull their goddamn weight. Jagex also humorously adds, We are not responsible for any breakdowns and friendships as a result of arguments concerning lackluster Slayer performances. We know you've all wanted Slayer partners back for a long time now. This update mostly just restores the system to its former glory with improved systems and usability, and such as. We'll be releasing it without a poll. We will, however, be keeping a very close eye on how players are going to use it moving forward. Our goal with these changes was to prevent the exploits we saw in Slayer Partners' previous incarnation. We've already consulted with a handful of expert players and we're confident that our current potential for abuse is extremely low. That said, we poised to make changes if we do see any exploiting the system, although we don't plan to remove it again anytime soon. Let us know what you think of our proposed improvements. We're hopeful to re-release Slayer Partners before the Araxite tasks are added to the game alongside Araxer, since the best ways to enjoy brand new Slayer tasks are surely side by side with an elf or a friend. Well that's it for this week's update video guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and consider becoming a member, where you will be glorified at the end of each one of my videos, gaining access to plenty of members only content and many other cool benefits. I'll see you raw doggers in the next one boys. Doom Goblin out.